Hey, imagine you are in a Java interview and somebody asks you a question that uh, can you tell me something about the Java sorting? How, how actually you are going to sort thing in Java? So basically, whenever somebody asks you about sorting is probably means collections class sort method or the comparable interface or the comparator interface. Well, there are a lot of things in sorting, quick sort, must sort, um, all those DS thing that we learned in our college days. Uh, but you know Java makes things pretty easy for us. So if we are good in collection If we know about comparable interface comparator interface and the collection class sort method things are pretty easy So that's what we're going to talk in this particular video and yes, if you if you already know about it No need to watch this video, right? Uh, your time is precious if you are not in a position to answer this question this video is pretty important for you and let me tell you that Sorting is one of the most frequently asked question. It's a very common common FAQ in Java interview and it's a pretty popular interview question. So today we can invest some time right now because I have a lot of time. I don't know about you. <laughs> so today we can invest some time and can clarify all these doubts that we have. Okay. So my name is Avilash. You are watching Selenium Express. <laughs> Without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so right now I hope you guys can see my screen here and if you are you can see there is a project here called uh, sorting dash java and also I have a package created here called uh, Example dash sorting or what is that? Okay example dash sorting and you're thinking right yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to create a new class right now here uh, uh, So uh, the class name I'm going to give over here is called integer and uh, let's say integer sorting demo okay now let's try to you know uh, sort some integers and basically my intention right over here to make you familiar with the sort method inside the collections class so there is a class called collections and I'm going to use this particular method so right now let me zoom in uh, this thing a little and I hope things are pretty visible and let me minimize this okay so the first thing that I'm going to do over here I'm going to have a main method here so control space main method and I'm going to create a array list okay so basically I'm going to create a array list and the type I'm going to take uh, as a integer so you know integer is a wrapper class present inside the java.lang package so this one I'm going to import and after that let's say uh, let's say integer list equal to new array list and i'm going to i'm going to create a basically a uh, array list of integer object and i'm going to insert few integer to my list called integer list so basically i'm going to you know put some random numbers to my list right now um, which will not be sorted and after that i'll just try sorting them using the collection class sort method just to make you familiar with uh, the sort method of the collections class as i said so first of all, let me add few numbers to this particular list called uh, integer list. So let me do it quickly. Okay guys, so right now, as you can see right here in my screen, I have uh, added few number, uh, I mean few numbers to my list called integer list and if you can see this numbers right here 15 3 7 1 then you can see that they are not sorted okay so basically guys you know if i'll ask you right uh, if i'll give you all these numbers and I, manuel just forget about java think like i'll give you a bunch of numbers like 15 3 7 1 and i'll tell you hey sort it then how are you going to sort it obviously you are going to sort it in an ascending order so you're going to sort like 1 3 7 and 15 right just like this Okay, so that's what we say a natural sorting order. So you might be hearing this term quite a few times right now uh, that uh, natural sorting order. It does mean that ascending order, right? We always say A, B, C, D, not in a reverse way like X, Y, Z, okay? Z, Y, X, then whatever, okay, I cannot do it. So the reverse is uh, not the so natural sorting order. Natural sorting order is the ascending order, 
okay okay so before i'll actually do the sorting here uh, i'll just try to print out all these numbers that i have to my console and to do that obviously i'll be using a for loop it's pretty simple um i don't want to explain it to you otherwise you'll think okay don't don't think i'm a kid i already know all these things you are just wasting my time so what i'm going to do here i'm going to take an integer and i'll just say temp and i'll just copy and paste this i'll do command c and i'll do command b uh, actually i'm feeling where to type it in in this particular keyboard because i'm connecting a windows keyboard to a mac and it's pretty difficult to type for me right now so bear with me so what i can do here i can do a sys out and i'll do control space and i'll say temp here and there you go so this is the for loop which is going to iterate over this list called integer list and one by one it is going to print something uh, to the console so if i'm going to run this uh, obviously yeah, nothing fancy will get all those numbers that we have inserted to the list uh in the exact order that we have inserted so you can see 15 3 7 1 9 10 and this is exactly the order that we have inserted to the list and we know that in the array list you know whatever we insert the order is always going to be preserved right so uh, right now our intention is to sort uh this particular list so to sort it i'll do collections collections there is a class called collections in the java util package in that collection class i have a method called sort so i'll just sort and you can see the sort method there are basically two sort method but i'll be i'll be talking about it right now let's use the first sort method and we can see it is actually accepting a list right so what i can do here i can pass on my list my list is integer list so again i'm going to do command c here and command v here so now uh, my collections get sorted and once the collection gets sorted what i can do i can again uh, you know iterate through that particular collection and i can see whether my sorting has been done perfectly or not so what i did here i just copied this for loop again and i i'll paste it right here again okay and i'll do command a command shift f to format everything okay there you go so uh, so here I can say uh, sys out and I'll say after sorting okay after sorting uh, you know we can see whether the things I get sorted or not if I'm going to run this particular program uh, okay this that's great so previously our number was just like this 15 3 7 1 9 10 but after sorting it became 1 3 7 9 10 15 which is perfect so uh, this sort method is basically uh, you know sorted everything in a uh, natural sorting order or in a ascending order okay that's great so this is what uh, you know the integer you know integer is a wrapper class uh, so we have uh, sorted all the integers that we have right here so what about the string so uh, right now what i can do here i can actually uh, try to sort some string okay and after that we will create some custom object and try to sort them out so again uh, i can create a class here called uh, string sorting just to show you how it works string sorting demo and uh, finish it I'll get a class here called string sorting demo. Let me zoom it a little. Okay, I think it's pretty visible. Now, after that, I can have a, a main method here. And in this main method, what I can do here is, um, you know, I can create a array list again, array list of strings. So let me do it quickly. Array list of string. Then let's say, uh, I want to enter some music. So say music equal to new array list of string so now i can add few music to my music list so let's say with this one let me rename this particular variable to music list and now let me add few song to my music list okay so right now you can see that i have added few a uh, song to my music list so all these bollywood tracks i've added to the music list is not sorted so i kind of played on taxary right now that okay uh, a song from Z, a song from B, a song from K, a song from A, 
okay but they are not sorted right now so if i will sort all this music list perfectly first i will get aisa desa mera then i'll get b besa briya okay then whatever whatever right we'll see that but before i do that again i'll try to you know i'll try to do what uh, i'll try to iterate over this particular list and i'll try to print it to my console so i'll go to uh, sorting demo dot java and i can copy uh, this iterator method here control c i'll come over here i'll do uh, i'll just paste it right here control v here and obviously right now we are not dealing with integer we are dealing with string so let me uh, change this thing to string and uh, let me change this integer list to music list and it is going to iterate over this music list and going to print something step by step right so uh, so what i can do right now i can do command s to save everything and if i will run this particular program obviously nothing fancy i'll be getting everything in my console and uh, these things are not sorted as you can see jara jara besabriya esa desa mera is right here this should come to the top as uh, the natural sorting order um, if we follow that obviously we'll get the you know a uh, top of the list right so to do that again i'll do collection uh, dot sort so i'll do control space collections uh, dot sort and here again i'll pass the music list to my uh, sort method so this is my list okay okay command c command v i'm not even able to copy paste okay that's good so right now uh, the next thing i'm going to do here after sorting i can again uh, log some things is out uh and i'll do control space and i'll say after sorting the songs okay the final output is again i can copy this uh command c to copy and i can do command v to paste there you go okay so now if i'm going to you know run this particular program uh things would work fine you can see after sorting is right here after sorting the songs and after that you can see um they are arranged uh, to uh, alphabetical order this z is coming last this a is coming first and obviously things are working pretty good right over here after sorting the songs so uh, basically we uh, we learned right now about the sort method is basically help us to sort something and uh, we have right now tested it with integer class string class and basically um, is getting sorted in a natural order in ascending order 